Tonight, the old Michigan Central train station has a new owner, the Maroon family, announcing they have sold the iconic building to Ford Motor Company. The historic train depot is 105 years old. The 500,000 square foot building is 18 stories tall. Amtrak closed the train station back in 1988. It was bought by Matty Maroon in the early 1990s and has been vandalized over the years. Ford says it will release its plans for the property on June 19th. All we know right now is the blue oval will be displayed on the top of the station. And as 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner tells us, that symbol could be the sign for the transportation of Corktown. There's no question when the Ford name goes on top of the Michigan Central Station, it will mean revitalization for the Corktown neighborhood. The only question is how much? Oh, it's going to boost, it's going to boost it and uh, a hundredfold. The central station has been closed for 30 years and many thought it would never be brought back to life. Now with Ford moving in with electric and self-driving car development, existing business people say things could really get crazy here. Hopefully really crazy. I mean, that many employees, that many um, construction workers, architects, um, residents, other business owners that may or may not be in there. If Ford turns this into an urban campus, some businesses nearby on Michigan Avenue could see new life. Some reports say Ford has been quietly buying several properties. On Wabash next door to the depot, some homes are abandoned, some are being renovated, and most are occupied by young professionals. Worried how much this progress will cost them. I'm afraid it's going to raise my rent, most likely, and probably, honestly, the rent of some of my neighbors who might be able to afford it a little bit less than I can. Some predict renovations of the depot will cost a minimum $100 million. Will any public money or any public financing be part of the project? Will there be a public component? Again, I'm not talking any details. Have you figured well, out? You're right not now, saying no. We don't leak. Uh, so uh, well, you're not saying no. I'm not, I'm not answering any details about any of the questions. New development always has a ripple effect, and many here are asking, what does it mean for buildings like this shuttered four years? Will this see new life? In Corktown, Jim Kirstner, 7 Action News. Certainly good to see. Thank you, Jim. The owner